welcome back to the channel and this is problem number 469a and the next problem is i want to be the guy so and the problem can be read as there is a game called i want to be the guy consisting of n levels little x and his friends little y are addicted to the game each of them wants to pass the whole game so there is a game that little x and little y are playing and it consists of n levels little x can only pass p levels of the game and little y can pass only q levels of the game you are given the indices of levels little x can pass and the indices of levels little y can pass well little x and little y pass the whole game if they cooperate each other and but the first line contains a single integer the next line contains an integer p which is less than or equal to n at first then follows p distinct integers a1 a2 to a p so these integers they not the indices of levels little x can pass the next line contains the little levels little y can pass in a same format it is assumed that levels are numbered 1 to n okay so like this is a problem which consists of n levels and if they cooperate with each other so whether they can pass the levels or not that is the our problem so if they can pass all the levels then we have to print i become the guy and if it is impossible then print to my keyboard without the quotes so what i think is that you have to calculate the the distinct integers and in the following input is equal to n or not so that is an easy problem and you can implement it by set in java so let's just um log in and dive straight into the code so problem number 469a and the problem name is i wanna be the guy okay for 69a so there are p which are followed by p distinct integer okay let's just create a set of integer and that has to be you know integer object um as i've already discussed what is a set means um so i think my previous videos clearly stated that what do you mean by set in java if you can if you are not able to recall it then do uh, you can check it here and i'm you can just take it out so Mm. So what I'm doing is here is that I'm adding all the like uh, whatever the input is into the set, and then I will compare that uh, the number of distinct element size set. is equal to n a or not so 
Oh, that is the output. Else it will be I become the guy. So that is all about the problem. And that is not very tough one problem, I think, until we pass the test case. Let's just check whether we are I become the guy for the next oh my keyboard so yep we did the problem solving and so that is equal and let's just submit the problem see whether we pass the test case or not Oh shit, I think the machine is not working at night or code forces they are all in queue. Let me just check. Oh shit. So no problem. I think we have to wait for a little time because the machine is not accepting or processing the solutions right now. Mm -hmm. Uh, they are all shown the status of NQ. So, <clears throat> what I am thinking is that yes, this will pass all the test cases, and in the next video, I will show you the screenshot that whether it's passed or not. So, I think that's all about the problem. I'm gonna be the guy, and the next problem is coming up. So stay tuned. Bye-bye. Good night.